Well, certainly we're excited to be playing in the NCAA tournament. We understand the tremendous challenge of playing against a terrific team like Cal. Uh, but uh, we've made great progress in our program this year, and, and we're one of our, our main goal every year is to try to get in the NCAA tournament. We've done that, and now we know what a challenge it will be on, on Thursday playing against Cal. Is it a benefit for you as a coach staff to start getting things together because you did play them earlier, you had the tape rather than somebody that you're going from scratch? Well, certainly there's no doubt that uh, Cal will be familiar with us and we'll be familiar with them having played each other the last two years, but uh, it, it doesn't change the fact that they're a terrific team. Alan Crabb is an NBA player, Justin Cobbs, Richard Solomon, they've got a great roster, they've got a Hall of Fame coach in Mike Montgomery, and he'll have them extremely well prepared. And it, it, it'll be a terrific basketball game. Okay, it appears the Mountain West Conference finally got a little respect, maybe more than they had in the last couple of years. Just talking about five teams getting in. I mean, so. Well, we were excited last year with getting four teams out of eight, and this year we've, we've done even better with getting five teams out of, of the nine that are in the league. And we just felt as coaches that it was a conference that was worthy. We're the ones that, that had to play. We knew it was a difficult challenge of playing against the teams in this league, and then to be recognized in a tournament like the NCAA tournament it speaks volumes about what's going on in that conference. Talking about what it means for these seniors. Obviously, you've got a young group playing for the first time, building a legacy. But I know these seniors want to leave uh, something as well. well. I think the first thing is when you think about Justin Hawkins and Anthony Marshall, the first two guys uh, playing at UNLV since Stacey Ogman and Chris Jeter to play four consecutive NCAA tournaments. And yet, uh, our team is, is extremely uh, excited about playing. And, uh, we want to go in there and, and try to win a game, and we always just concentrate kind of on one game. And we know the tremendous challenge that'll be playing against a terrific Cal team that played fabulous basketball in Pac-12 conference play. Why do you think you were five? It seemed to me as we watched the selections that the committee uh, put great stock in, in teams that played and won non-conference games. Uh, we played a very competitive non-conference schedule. Our, I, RPI, and I've said many times that I follow RPI very closely, but also follow strength of schedule very closely. And if you take a look at our out-of-conference out of strength of schedule, it was strong. We won a number of those games, and so I just think they're sending a message to, to teams that you need to play strong non-conference schedules. And then we're fortunate that we have a conference that was one or two in a conference RPI, and so that aided our strength of schedule and our, comp, and our RPI as well. You, um, you didn't have Birch. Mosier goes down early. I mean, obviously you would think they're pluses for you, but how do you approach Magic now with two guys who are now a significant well, there's no doubt that we're a much better team than we were when we played Cal, and there's no doubt they're a much better team when they played us. And so uh, they played tremendous basketball. I had a chance to watch their team play a number of games in Pac-12 play because I just I love how Coach Montgomery coaches and just learn a lot from his ability to coach on the offensive end, and, and they played terrific basketball. It all, it all goes through Justin Cobbs and Alan Crabb. They're two guys that are very difficult to stop. Tyrone Wallace played great basketball for him. Solomon was good against us. It'll be a great challenge, certainly a great challenge. But I think our, both of our teams are, are similar because we have the same teams, but there are a number of different pieces that are making big contributions now that didn't at that time. And Dave, the location, obviously, when Mountain West Conference Tournament play comes around, you get a lot of heat for playing in your old building. They're pretty much playing in their own backyard. It is. It's, it certainly would, would seem to be an advantage to the location, but we're excited to be staying west, and it gives our fans an opportunity to fly or to drive to San Jose. And, and one of the things that I always talk about, the tradition of our program, is not just what goes on on the court, but the great fan base that we have. And it gives an opportunity for our fans to get to San Jose and be part of uh, this, this, this second-round game against Cal. What did you learn last season? As first time as a head coach versus uh, going through this year, what are you, what are you taking in? Did you learn anything? Do you take anything differently? So uh, I think for us, it, it's similar when we go back to practice tomorrow, uh, just making sure that we learn from the things that we didn't do so well against New Mexico in the championship day game, but at the same time try to put that behind us. I know there's a great opportunity, a tremendous challenge, but a great opportunity for us on Thursday. Uh, I think last year it took us a little bit longer than I would have liked to get over the, the loss in the Mountain West Conference tournament. I think sometimes that residual effect takes a little bit longer because it is in the Thomas and Mack Center, and so there's an added pressure for our guys when we're playing in the Thomas and Mack Center versus if it were in another city or in what's being regarded as more of a, of a, uh, of a different venue.